This is a short film about mandalas. Mandalas are a circular form of art that dates back centuries. My name is Chris Fusher, and my creative journey has brought me to the mandala in an effort to sort of tap into my subconscious and bring forth my greater creative spirit. The word mandala is drawn from the classical Indian language of Sanskrit. It means circle when loosely translated, but a mandala is far more than a simple shape. It sort of represents wholeness, the connectedness of all things, and is a model for the organizational structure of life itself. A universal model that reminds us of our relation to the infinite, a world that extends both beyond and within our bodies and minds. The circle is representative of the cycles of humanity and life. The circle with the center pattern is the basic structure of creation that is reflected from the micro to the macro in the world as we know it. It is a pattern found in nature and seen in biology, geology, chemistry, physics, astronomy, among others. Eastern religions have long used the mandala as a spiritual tool. Westerners have also found value in the restorative power found in the circular form. Through the expressive creative process, one develops a wholeness that is alive and restoring. I'm an astrologer by trade, so therefore cycles and circles, degrees and angles all play a very important role in my work and the way I look at the world. I see it as an architecture for the universe and the, the patterns in our daily lives. Astrology uses circles and cycles to represent the changing universe. As the planets drift through the cosmos, as the seasons change, as the days come and go, the universe expands and evolves in a timeless swirl of circular motion. The cross-pollination of religious themes and symbols is as evident in all that I do. It sort of allows me to remove the barriers set up between our cultures. Knocking down barriers is critical to our evolution as a planet. Originally, it was the Buddhists that first talked about mandalas and used them in their spiritual practice. They would spend days drawing out these elaborate patterns with sand, and then at the end of the pattern, wipe them off with a broom to show the impermanence of life. The Buddhists reflect on life and see it as a series of cycles, cycles that have peaks and valleys, and it's through those peaks and valleys that we experience life to its fullest. Oftentimes we are disappointed, oftentimes we are elated. It's that contrast of the yin and the yang that it permeates that religious belief that really appeals to me in my heart.
I've been creating mandalas and spiritually realized drawings for years. The inspiration for my work springs initially from my love of astrology. Astrology uses cycles and circles to represent the changing universe. As the planets drift through the universe, as the earth rotates and the days come and go, the universe evolves in a timeless swirl of circular motion. As above, so below. The very essence of the circle is at the core of our DNA and in the patterns of nature, time, and space. My drawings evolve, ultimately, from my subconscious, and they are created in a stream of consciousness involving my concentration and meditation. All the designs, patterns, and symbols are original and one of a kind. The swirl of color, textures, and spiritual symbolism are all part of my process. And although these are not typical mandalas, they evolve from the same spiritual center and are offered to the universe for the collective good of all.